Obviously, the way the news works, you'll probably have forgotten about Trump's shithole comment by now. Now, I don't want to really address the comment itself. I honestly don't care what language he uses. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, it's not presidential, but at the same time, focusing on that is just silly. It's been almost half a century since George Carlin's seven deadly words lawsuit, and I think we can move past this. We can be adults. What I do want to address about it is the sentiment behind it, and in particular, how un-American it is. We are a nation of immigrants, and we're a nation of people who, wherever they've come from, they are people who have made a really difficult choice. They've made this life move. They've gone from everything that they know, probably to a country where there's a different language, where the culture is utterly different, where they don't know anyone. They have no infrastructure or safety nets in that way. And to make that kind of a move, I mean, it is ridiculously hard. My grandfather came from Spain when he was about 18. And uh, when he came, he came with his friend Antonio and they had essentially nothing. They came here, they went, uh, their, first, their first job together was working in a coal mine. They went down in the morning into the shaft. They came up at noon and they both looked at each other and said, screw this. This was, that's how bad it is. And this was early 1900s. So imagine now, given the options, what you could do versus coal mining. I mean, aside from just not being, or from being archaic and not being a, a thing that is going to exist really in the future, it's a terrible job. There are much better jobs people could be doing. We need to work on getting people into those kinds of positions. We need to work on not making people fight to keep these old uh, sort of jobs that are going away. We don't have buggy whip manufacturers anymore, at least not in any great quantity. Why would you want to be a coal miner? You could do something better. You could do something more creative. You could do something that is actually much less dangerous and much more rewarding. So, I don't know how I got from the shithole comment to that, but I just wanted to address that, and this was something that I think I'm going to work on these, and I'm trying to, just as a sort of meta thing, I'm trying to find a nice balance. My natural impulse is to be extremely extemporaneous and essentially to ramble. Not quite ramble, but spin a bunch of threads, go on tangents, and then weave everything back together. I want to make these somewhat focused, but I think I've overcorrected and I went too far on the focused side. So I'm going to try to make things that bounce around a little bit more, and I'm going to make things that are a little bit longer. The reason I'm doing that actually is that I believe that people rise or fall to the bar that you set for them. And if I give you 30 second sound bites, you'll go to that level. If I give you several minutes of video, I think you can watch it. I think you can listen to it. So I believe in you and I want you to be better. I want to be better for you. Thank you very much.